Hello, this is Mike, and I'm back with Zach from Break. And what Zach did over Break is he actually uh, went to the web and he created some, uh, for his particular project, he w created a front page and a back page and changed his table of contents. So, and that's exactly what we've done so far. And now what we want to do is learn about a very powerful uh, thing in Flash, and that is the text layout format. So if you take a look at this image right here, you see the text is actually flowing around this image. And we actually want to learn how to do that in Flash. So this is something new in Flash 5. It started in Flash 4 talking about it. Adobe was working on it and they've been fully incorporated in Flash 5. And you can actually build boxes that flow around images, which is just pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you try to do this in HTML, especially when you try to bring it in on the fly or through XML, it can be difficult. But Flash CS5 has made it easy. So let me show you how to start building your layout pages. So I've got this done so I can put as many pages as I want in my book. I've just got one here but uh, it's actually starting to take shape. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. And we're going to use this text layout. Now, a few things real quick here. Is that the book itself can actually take an image or can take a, uh, a SWF. I'm actually going to go for taking my SWFs and exporting them as images. So when I build the flaw in Flash, I'll export an image because you see when I hit this expand, it actually looks pretty good and runs really well. When you put an SWF in there, it's a little bit flaky. So we're going to stick with the... Uh, with the uh, uh, exporting as images from Flash for now, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go right to Flash and do our first text layout. Uh, one thing you want to notice here is that if I click on these text boxes in, within Flash, you can see they're actually connected. This line is actually connected to that line. And so they actually the text is actually flowing from one box to another. And that's how you get things to wrap around is by creating different boxes. And all this is going to happen through the properties tag, believe it or not. So in your properties, there's lots of cool things that you can access using this TLF, text layout format. And so, uh, and within that, you can draw boxes and titles and just make things wrap wherever you want to. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with a new page, and we're going to actually... Um, uh, create my second image and uh, something about faculty most likely and do a text layout. So let's do that real quick. So go to file and you want to make sure you have the right size. Now if you look at this image right here it is actually, if you go to the uh, properties panel you'll see that this image is actually 601 by 859. So I actually want to create a container that's 601 by 859. Let's go ahead and do that. So go to File, New, Action Script, and we're going to create. A click on the white space and come over here. And let's change that to 601 by 859. And now what I'm actually going to do is import a page into it. And I've already got a bunch of pages that I gotten. I, that I've gotten from iStock. So let's go ahead and import a page and we'll just call this first layer of the page. Alright, let's go ahead and import. File, import to stage. And I'm just going to find a, an a image that I've uh, grabbed from iStock and bring it right in. So let's go back here. Let's go to my desktop. You can tell I'm a little bit out of it today, right? It's been a rough week. We and I shouldn't say rough. Good, got a lot of work done, but we did a, we did like six weeks of work, six weeks of work in about oh, three days or something like that. It was insane. We had to, we chopped it all up amongst different developers, and we we're just passing code back and forth. It was just an amazing. But I'm exhausted. The guy, my buddy that works with me, he's really knocked out. So let's go there and go to Source Upload and let's go ahead and find a, a blank page. So I'm going to go to Pages and let's grab us a blank page here. It's, I have a plenty of them, so let's grab one right here. It doesn't matter what it is. And it's going to import that. Don't import the sequence. That's what it was asking me. Hey, it looks like there's a sequence. Should I import that? No. And there's a nice blank page that I can bring an image into and I can start dumping everything. Just real quick here, if you actually want to turn this so it will work in the uh, flipbook, you actually want to turn this uh, first page into an SWF. We're just going to export this as an image, so we don't need to worry about that. But you need to be, worry about this if you're going to start bringing SWFs into flipbooks because they're a little bit finicky. So let's put another layer here and let's put an image there so we can actually start building a box to flow around it. 
Okay, and I got to go look at my text. So I got a little project from uh, an old professor friend of mine, and we're actually doing a presentation. And he actually sent me some uh, words to think about and put on this on the page. So it's always good to design uh, with something. You have a little emotional attachment there. And so let's see what the presentation is going to be about. It takes a campus and more to enhance online education, a lesson in organizational change. And we're now looking at this uh, title here called Administrative Faculty. So I just want to grab that title right there. I'm going to copy it. I love to copy everything because I can't spell. And if you're coding, you're going to find out as a coder you're going to be t copying everything because you don't want to have to accidentally copy a name wrong. Let's go squeeze this in a little bit so we can see what's happening. And so what I want to do is I actually want to put a title on the stage right there. So let's come along here. And I've got, uh, let's hit the T for text flow. And you can see you got TLF, uh, text layout format. And uh, I'm going to set this to bold because it's going to be a title. And I already got it pretty big. It's at uh, 23. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to paste it right in that little box. Go so control V. And there's my little title right there. Now I can do a lot more with that, but we're just going to leave it as it is right now. So let's go ahead and bring that kind of center that in the stage. I'll go back to my pointer to get off my text flow and just kind of center it. It's a little big, so I can't see the screen. I'll bring it down to 80%. There you go. I can see the screen right there. Let's put it right there. And now what I want to do is administration and faculty. Maybe I can go find a good image. So let's see if we can put an image to stage. I'll put another icon there. And, and that actually was text, not image. So I'm going to go to that image. And the other one was title. And what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and import an image to stage. Let's go file import. Something to do with administration and faculty. So we'll go to file import to stage and all this was done at Northern Kentucky University so there's a folder here called NKU something dev and uh, here's some thumbnails and there's a picture of me actually lecturing that might be a good a kind of like administration and faculty there I am talking away ta -da! okay there we go and you can see the back of my head and if you want to make that smaller just come along here to the resizing tool and you just resize it a little bit And so we'll make that one image kind of sticking out right on the side here. And let's put another image kind of on the other side. My head looks like it's got distorted there. I think I look a little bit better there. That's really distorted, isn't it? And we'll put another image over on the side so we have to wrap our text around it. So we'll start at the top and we'll start wrapping down, okay? So let's put another image in there that has something to do with administration and faculty. Let's put another instructor that actually was actually lecturing. There you go. Oh, that's a tiny one, isn't it? So that's not bad, right? It gives us something to flow around. We're going to put this as kind of as an icon in the top here. So let's put that there, and we'll wrap around everything. What do you think? Is that a good challenge right there to wrap around some? Okay, good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to draw a text box on the stage where I want to wrap around. So we'll take this first text box right here, and we'll hit this T for the text box. Here's my layout. Now I have to choose a, basically what kind of text it's going to be, and I have three choices. It can be a read-only, it can be a uh, selectable, or editable. So ed selectable means I can copy and paste it, and editable means I can change it. It's going to be a read-only because I'm not going to be changing it. It's, uh, it's for my uh, readers to watch. But if I want to actually input uh, text and actually bring it into a database or an XML, whatever, I'd want to make it... Um, Editable. Some people like uh, selectable so they can actually go in and actually copy and paste. And we'll just leave it the way it is. And I want to hit my T button now. I'm just going to draw a container for my text on the stage. Isn't that cool? Now, if you note, with that container drawn, there's actually these two boxes right here. Here's one and here's one. See those container uh, little boxes there? Those are very important because when I click on one of those, you suddenly there's a little, like a little text icon right there. That's actually going to... Um, come along here and actually draw more text for me. So I'm going to grab that. And notice, that as soon as I click that on the stage, it connected a line, a line from here to here. And what that means it's going to do, it's going to take this text and it's going to wrap it to the next box. Isn't that cool? Now, if you didn't want to do that, if you want to disconnect that box, I could actually click on that icon right there. And see how you got that little disconnect thing? If I click on in the box, excuse me, right here, and if I, yeah, if you click inside the box, it'll disconnect. And so it's not connected anymore. Ta -da. But uh, if you click again, you can connect again by clicking in the box. Okay, now this box right here is too big, 
right here. It's going over, not long enough. That's easy enough to fix. You can see there's these little control handles right here. You see those little blue dots right there? Or squares? Those are control handles. And just let's change the control size. Ta I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Okay, now it all went white, so that means I got to go back there, right? And I want to click on that, and I'm going to bring that up, right? Expand it, bring it down, so it goes flush with my image. Not bad, right?